If a refrigerator is not cooling properly, or it's freezing food in the refrigerator compartment, a defective evaporator fan motor could be causing the problem. If the fan motor isn't running, you can use a multimeter to test if the motor is receiving enough voltage to operate. Depending on the model, the refrigerator may have more than one evaporator fan motor, and the component may be in both the freezer and refrigerator compartments. You will usually need to remove an access panel to reach the fan motor. Be sure to unplug the appliance's power cord before beginning any disassembly. Once you've reached the fan motor, disconnect the motor's wire connector or disconnect the wires from the terminals. Note the voltage designation printed on the fan motor or in the refrigerator's wiring diagram and set the multimeter to volts AC or volts DC as required. Using the appliance's wiring diagram, identify the appropriate power input terminals or wires for the fan motor. Plug the appliance's power cord back in. Since the refrigerator now has power, avoid touching any components with your hands. Wait for the compressor to cycle on. You may also need to actuate a door switch to provide voltage to the fan motor circuit. Now contact the black meter lead to an appropriate connector pin or wire terminal and the red lead to the other appropriate pin or terminal. The multimeter display should indicate that voltage is present. If voltage is present, the evaporator fan motor is probably defective and should be replaced. If voltage is not present, a defective main control board, temperature control thermostat, or thermistor is likely the cause of the cooling problem.